Hello everyone, my name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. This video is our series finale of the Becoming Your Own Banker book by Mr. R. Nelson Nash. If you've watched the past, what, 15 videos I think mm -hmm. it's been, we have covered sections one and two of this book. And we're going to leave sections three, four, and five up to you to review because Nelson dives into more complex theories. Mm -hmm. And you really need to have the book in front of you in order to review it because there's charts Parts and graphs that you need to be able to read and understand and we want to make sure that you are also doing your education doing your due diligence and not just taking our word for it so when it once you purchase this book which we highly highly recommend if you really want to understand infinite banking purchase this book it takes you about two hours to read 90 minutes when you're good mm -hmm. but you should read this book over and over again yeah and if it's your first time when you first pick it up just blow through it read everything just go straight through it don't stop and make any marks just read straight through it and then the second time you read it that's when you want to make notes mm -hmm. put questions there mm -hmm. and the reason why we say do this is every time you read this book you get a different idea you see something that you didn't see before, before. Yeah. and what we like to do is in between every book that we read we read becoming your own banker mm -hmm. and that's what I really really recommend that you do because we've been doing this for years mm -hmm. but we still read the book yeah <laughs> even the other infinite bankers that we know that's been doing this for years upon years upon years who have great-grandchildren they read this book all the time mm -hmm. yeah they can quote the pages yes <laughs> that's how much they've read it and the the reason why we we recommend you read the book this way is just because since this is such a foreign concept to people when it comes to life insurance mm -hmm. trying to understand it all at once can be very overwhelming yeah so that's why when Darius is talking about the first time you read it just blow through it you know get what you can get at that point mm -hmm. and then the more times that you go through this book you're able to comprehend more and more yeah and that's what we found and we even and started reading the book together and picked up things that we didn't even gather individually reading this right. uh, but the the most important thing about this becoming your own banker book in my opinion is just how much it opened my eyes to the world of banking mm -hmm. the government taxation and just overall leverage mm -hmm. because we knew leverage when it comes to, to money just through investing but not from this perspective and if you want to continue to challenge the status quo and just level up your financial game, then totally recommend that you get this book. And we have a link to Amazon where you can buy this book because for us, it's, it's just changed everything. And we give this book out to people for <laughs> wedding gifts and birthdays and all sorts of things just because we want to make sure that people are continuing to empower themselves mm -hmm. when it comes to their finances. Yeah, you have to think of everything that you learned up until this point, our understanding of finances. Mm -hmm. It didn't necessarily come from school, it came from our environment. Yes. So this book is specifically for changing your mindset and your ideas of, of what you've learned in the past, mm -hmm. which is to borrow money mm -hmm. and pay somebody else's interest. Mm -hmm. We have to change that paradigm. and borrow money from ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if you were taught about borrowing money, some people were also taught about saving money. So at saving every p penny that you have and paying everything cash. Mm -hmm. Either way, the debtor and the saver both end up at zero. Mm -hmm. So who is in a better situation? We're taught from a society standpoint that the saver is probably in a better situation because they have the cash, but when they pay cash for everything, they don't have any more money and they have lost their ability to pay or to earn interest. Mm -hmm. So at this point, you kind of go, all right, what do I do? The debtor and the saver are in the same position, so what, what other options are there? Mm -hmm. And that's all about wealth creation and, and what that entails. And for us, we found Infinite Banking to be our wealth creator. Uh, at, if you've seen more of our videos, we're not only doing it amongst ourselves, we're doing it with our family, mm -hmm. and we're also continuing to help other families become their own sources of financing as well, because we're licensed agents. And it's important for us to share this knowledge just because we realized how ignorant we, we were when it came to finances mm -hmm. and how as a society the, the ignorance has is spreading and we just want to help people in in ways in which that they can control their finances yes one last thought infinite banking is the process of using dividend paying whole life insurance policies mm -hmm. to finance everything in life mm -hmm. 
you're limited only to your imagination and what you can do with infinite banking. Anytime you spend cash, you can make money from it by understanding the concepts in this book. Yes, very much so. And if you're, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And also our contact information is there as well. So if you have something more private that you'd like to discuss, then reach out to us and we will schedule an appointment. But thank you all very much for following this series. We hope to have many more to come and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like this video. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And also own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will. <laughs>